Hello champs, my name is Mohammad Sami and in this video we are going to have a look at SAP Business Warehouse Logistics Extraction. We are going to take the example of a sales and distribution data source and see how it is set up for extraction in SAP BW. So let's get on with it. There are some prerequisites that need to be satisfied before you start with extraction that would be to watch the videos part one and part two of this series that will give you a good understanding as to what you're doing in this particular video so make sure that that you get your theory right before you start your practicals choose your data source now for this demonstration i've chosen the data source 2ls 11 va hdr which is supplies header data for sales orders you can choose your own data source Identify the setup table which follows the naming convention MC followed by the application number, the event, a zero, the type of X data source whether it's header, item or schedule line and the keyword setup. Choose your delta mechanism. You can either choose direct delta, queued delta or unserialized V3 depending on your needs. Let's look at LO extraction step by step. First step is to install your data source from business content via the T code RSA5. The second step is to check and if needed customize the data source in post processing of data sources via the T code RSA6. In the third step maintain the data sources transfer structure and regenerate the data source in the logistics cockpit that is watch, that is via the T code LBWE. In the fourth step which takes place on the BW system, replicate the data source in SAP BW workbench using the T code RSA1. In the fifth step, activate the extraction structures and select your update method. Again in the logistics cockpit via the transaction code LBWE. In the sixth step, delete the data in the setup tables using the transaction LBWG. Now this step will ensure that you do not get any junk data in your initialization run. In the next step, fill the setup tables with your application data using the transaction code SBIW. In the next step, go back to your BW system and create an info package for delta initialization in RSA1. Finally, if you have chosen either queued delta or unserialized V3, as your update method, then you need to schedule a job using job control in LBWE, which runs either hourly or nightly, depending on which update mode you have chosen and bring data into your Delta queue, which will then be available to the info package for Delta extraction. Finally, maintain your info package for Delta extraction in RSA1. So now that we have seen all the steps one by one, Let's go ahead and do the practicals. But before we do that, let's just go through all the T codes that we need to use. RSA 5, then RSA 6, LBWE, go to your BW system, RSA 1, come back to your ACC system, LBWE. Delete your data in the setup tables, LBWG. Fill the data in the setup tables, SBIW. Go back to your BW system and create your info package for delta initialization, RSA 1. Come back to your uh, ECC system and schedule V3 collective run using the transaction code LBWE job control. Finally, maintain the info package for Delta extraction. So let's go ahead and see how we can do it practically. So the first step here is to go to the T code RSA5, which gives you a business content data sources. Navigate to the appropriate application component and select your data sources. Click on activate data sources. Once the data source is active, go to the transaction code RSA6 and check whether it's available now in the active mode. So it looks like our data source is active. If you want in RSA6, you can enhance the data source as well. 
Now go go to your logistics cockpit via the T code LBWE. Browse to your data source from your application component. Maintain the extract structure by clicking on the maintenance link. On the left hand side, you have the fields that are selected for extraction. And on the right hand side, you have all the fields and uh, available from the different communication communication structures feeding into this data source. You can see that there are two communication structures that are feeding into our data source MCVBAK and MCVBUK. Once you have decided which fields you want in your extraction, you can go ahead and say yes. Confirm. Once you confirm the fields, you need to regenerate the data source in order for the changes to reflect in the data source. So do that by clicking on the under the data source on the data source name. We'll ask you for a transport request. Say yes. Save the data source. Now that we have finished this step, go back to your BW system and type in RSA1, which is the T code for your SAP BW workbench. Go to the data sources tab under modeling, browse to the ap application component hierarchy and check whether your data source is available. If it was replicated at an earlier date, it might be available. But in this case, I don't, we don't see it here. So we can go ahead and replicate metadata for this application component in order to replicate our data source. Once the metadata is replicated, you should be able to find the data source. But as you can see, it is in, in the BW 3.x version which is denoted by a white dot just beside the data source icon. So you can migrate it, migrate it to a 7.0 version or 7.x version by using the migrate option. Once it is migrated, just search for it. There it is, sales document header data. Now go back to your ECC system to your logistics extraction customizing cockpit LBWE. Browse to your application again and activate your extraction structure. There you go, it is active now. Along with this step, you can even choose which kind of delta you want to maintain whether it's direct delta, cute delta, or unserialized V3. For, I, for our demonstration, I'm going to use the cute delta method. Now that we have maintained the data source ex, data sources extraction structures, we can go ahead and initialize our setup tables. Go back to your ECC system and delete data from your setup tables, LBWG. Choose your application number and delete data. Setup tables deleted successfully. Now you can check whether there is any data in that by going to the appropriate setup table for your data source. For in our case, it's MC11 BA0 HDR setup. There you go. You do not have any entries in that. Now you can go ahead and fill the setup table with new data. For that, you need to go to the transaction code SBIW. In SBIW, navigate to the settings for application specific data sources PI. Then go to your logistics system and open up managing extract structures. Under managing extract structures, open up initialization and filling in setup table. Then go to your application specific setup for statistical data. Here you will find 
different transactions which will help you in filling up the setup tables for different applications. So choose the right one for your application and execute. This application can also be reached via the transaction code OLI7BW. Choose a name for your run and give it appropriate timing. If you want, you can go ahead and enter the selection criteria, but I'm going to extract for the entire application for all the company codes and sales organizations that are available in the system. So I'm just going, I'm just going to go ahead and run the setup. Remember, you're doing all these steps in the ECC system. There you go, your setup has completed. You can check whether your table, setup table is filled or not by again executing the transaction code SE16 and looking for table entries. You can see that you have 6,876 records in the table. You will not understand these entries, but just so that you know that your setup table is now filled. At this stage, go back to your BW system. And create the info package. On your data source. Select the update mode as initialize Delta process with the initialization with data transfer selected. Save the info package. And schedule your initialization. Let's go ahead and check whether our initialization is running. Looks like we are good. Let's go to the data loading monitor and check for details great it's already finished extracting your records let's just check how many records it extracted 6876 just the exact number that was available in our setup table so our setup is good now you can also see that a delta would be a delta q would be initialized for this particular data source in order to see that go to your initialization or delta info package and click on scheduler and initialization options for source system option. There you go. You have your Delta Q active now. You can also check this Delta Q in your ECC system by going to the transaction code RSA7. There you go. That's our Delta. So in order to maintain the, uh, the V3 collection run job, go to the T code LBWE, which is your logistic cockpit. Go to your application and select job control. You can see that you can maintain a start date and print parameters for that. Maintain the start date and schedule a job. It's fairly easy to do. After you maintain a start date, you can immediately say immediately save it. And you can schedule a job after you maintain the print parameters. Obviously, the system is not configured for the print parameters. So I'm just, just going to skip this step. But you can, the, the idea is that you can maintain, you have to maintain the V3 collection run in order for your delta to be picked up. If you remember, the Q delta, uh, which is serialized V3, and the unserialized V3 update use a V3 collective run, which is a manually triggered job inside the ECC system and this and this particular option the job control will help you trigger that job at periodic intervals uh, hourly as uh, advised by SAP in case of Q Delta. Now once you are done you are good to go uh, your, your uh, SAP BWQ or BW Delta Q is already set up you can see that in RSA 7 and in order for this Q to be filled up with data you need to uh, in case of Q delta and uh, unserialized v3 you need to maintain the job uh, the v3 collective run job so i believe that completes our video thank you for watching and happy learning see you again